up the car we're gonna drain the radiator and um, after that we're gonna remove the radiator hose and remove the cooling fans out and uh, do the bottom part and after that we're gonna be ready to uh, remove the engine all right so that's what we gotta do all right so before we lift it up take the fan off. we're gonna take the fan off but uh, let's take this hose off too we're gonna take this hose off and we're gonna take the fan off before we lift up the car So we're gonna take this 10 millimeter bolts out. Take both fans out. Yeah, I got one fan out. And I'll get one out. So I have a hose on the bottom that's uh All right, so leave it for now. All right, so now um, I already get everything out. So the only one thing that we have to do, I'm gonna take these bolts off on the top of the motor mount. You got two bolts on the motor mount, one over here, one over there. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna take that bolt off. I'm gonna lift up the car, take this bolt off. And after that, um, I'm gonna lift up the engine uh, just to get access to the flywheel bolts. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna bring the car up. So, all right, so I would lift up the car. And then um, now to take the, the flywheel bolts off, all you gotta do, you gotta remove the, the bolts on both side of the mount, as you can realize, and I jack up the engine, and I black it with uh, a piece of metal. That's uh, from the lift, and now I'm gonna be able to pull the bolts. It got four bolts in it, and then they are 12 millimeter bolts. So you're gonna be able to pull them once you pull them. And after that, you're gonna have to uh, remove the bolt that mount the engine uh, to the transmission. And I think you're gonna be ready to take your engine out. All right, so I'm gonna keep working. So, all right, so as I told you guys, I already take the flywheel bolts out. There is uh, four bolts and two on this side one one um screws and one um nut uh on this side and then the same thing on the other side that's amount the engine to the training i already took them off so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring it down and the rest of the bolts are on the top so you're not gonna be able probably i don't know if you're gonna be able to see one right here okay one right here and then there is one on the other side and two on the top of it so there's gonna be four more bolts to uh, take it off so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna bring the car down so we're gonna remove them and after that I think we're gonna be ready to take the transmission to uh, take the engine out all right so now the car is down so I'm gonna take those two bolts here and those two bolt just to remove this uh, engine mount bracket and then after that after I pull that off we're gonna do that just to have space between um, the engine and um radiator we don't want to hit the radiator with that one we're trying to put it uh to the front all right so uh that's what we got to do okay. now as i said earlier we got uh four more bolts one right here one down there let me get a flashlight here we go we got one right here got one here and then got another one on the bottom i don't know if the camera can get it yeah see the team working good all right that one right here and we got two on the other side too so and after that we're gonna be uh, able to pull the engine out right uh you now we're working hard to see if we can um put the other engine in uh that's the old one we got to move everything that's we need uh the old engine was going to be a bulky uh back over all right, so we're going hard to see if we can uh, put the engine back in. So uh, we're trying to install uh, everything. You have, you see the back of the, he's got a bolt. It's going on the back of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the alternator. Oh, I just got a bolt, man. 
Oh, you another one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I couldn't find the nut. I'm like, I didn't know. All right. So, uh, please. So we're trying to transfer everything. The AC compressor, the frost thing, never gonna arm um, the oh, oscillator. When I put this on, is that all right? That's just bent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It didn't break though. All right, so I can, I can realize everything in. So uh, now the only one thing that we're gonna have to do is uh, put the chain in the same spot. Yeah, yeah. Just put the put chain the in. Yeah, we're gonna put the chain in and then see if we can lift it up. And then um, we're gonna take up the other chain and we're gonna put it in and see what we can do. All right. All right, you see what I was saying? Jenjen is not straight, but that's good. Then. Yeah, turn it this way. Yep, bring it down. Bring it down. All right. Uh, uh, make sure you get it from the middle.
thing on the top of the engine, but it doesn't do too much. Yeah. 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 Uh, lower the jack, lower the jack. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Take it with both of No, we don't need to. All right, tie it right there. Okay, so we're gonna push the the jack back forward. Push the jack forward, and the engine gonna go back. All right, right there, right there. So we're gonna lower the jack, lower the jack a little bit. So all we need to do is like got those two uh, pins aligned. Uh, too much. All right. Um, pull the engine back because we have a pin. No, 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 don't do it like that. Lift it up a little bit. Lift it up a little bit. We got a pin that stay on the engine and the training. So here we go, guys. The engine is uh, almost uh, in. So all we gotta do now, we got a bolt right here. Um, we have to put in and a nut right here. And on this side, we already put the bolts in. We are only have to tie it. We got a nut to put on that side too. And after that, we have another bolt on the top of here. You might not be able to see it. Uh, it's down there, yeah. And after that, we have to put the starter because the starter have two bolts that bolt in the, the, the mount the engine yeah. to the uh, training. All right, so guys, uh, let's keep working. All right, All right guys, so uh, now I got all the engine bolts in. So don't forget, anytime you tie the bolt, you have to spin the the crankshaft pulley to make sure that it's pain free so uh, now what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to lift up the engine to get access to the flywheel bolts uh, weights of bolting to, uh, to the top converter and then um, I'm gonna jack it up here to get a better clearance where I can put my hands in see if I can put the bolt back in all right let's get to work all right so uh, to connect the top converter to the flywheel so uh, what you gotta do, you gotta lift up the engine as I said, and then uh, I block it with uh, a piece of metal just to be sure that I'm safe before I put my hands in because I don't wanna lose my hand. And then uh, once you do that, so uh, you see the hole right here, you're gonna be able to uh, put your hands in and see if you can scroll, scroll that. They are 12 volt millimeter, can you, uh, okay? So I use a uh, uh, ratchet wrench uh, to get in here, right here, and to tie on up top. Before you tie one up, you have to make sure that you have all the four bolts aligned before you start tightening one. All right, let's go. All right, so uh, now I'm done with the top converter bolts. They all for tight and nice, so now, I'm gonna bring the engine down. So while I'm gonna bring it down, I'm, I'm gonna have to make sure that the motor mount it's aligned to the um, to the bracket, just to make sure we got everything in, in place. As you can see that, all right, I'm gonna make sure that this one goes to go, um, go to the wall all right there. And on both sides, we have to watch them and then after that job done, so we got now the motor mount and everything in place. So what we're trying to do is like put the put the lower uh, we need a hose in before we go into the yeah no, no problem. So and then um all right we're gonna change the filter, put a new filter in. As you can see the oil filter it's uh, look like paint. We're gonna take it off. After that we're gonna put the exhaust in. And after the exhaust we're gonna lower the car to the top of it. So for the bottom, we're done. All right, next we're gonna put the starter in. Um, then we're gonna start plugging everything in, the wiring harness, hooking up the fuel lines, um, putting serpentine belt on. We just connected the exhaust and tightened it down. Um, then we can put the power steering lines on, stuff like that. All right, went ahead and put the starter in. Uh, put the power steering lines on, tightened them down, plug this in on the alternator. Um, now I'm about to do the AC compressor lines, and uh, then we can go ahead and check everything over. 
make sure everything works all the clamps are tight the fuel lines are hooked up all the vacuum lines are hooked up um, then we're gonna go ahead and put the fans and the serpentine belt on next all right so uh, we already got the belt on as you can see Right here. So uh, after that, all we gotta do is uh, put this hose in, connect the positive battery. We already got the AC line on, power steering line on, and uh, the throttle body is already in. Everything is connected, the starter. So uh, we already have the heater hose connected. So uh, this is the vacuum line that's uh, going on our air intake. Air intake. And after that, I'm gonna be ready to start the car. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, I went ahead and put the belt in, um, tightened the grounds, hooked up the uh, antifreeze line here, put the two fans on. Um, next is just the air box, and that's about it. And double check all your vacuum lines, all your grounds, everything. Make sure you're not missing nothing. Okay, so uh, now job is completely done. As you can see, the engine is running smooth. What is smooth? So uh, now we got two things to do. We're just gonna charge the AC, and after charging the AC, we're gonna back up the car, take it out the shop, and then wash the engine compartment to make the car look nice before we give the car back to the customer. All right, guys, thanks you for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, click on the bell notification to get all the videos on time and leave us a question or comment if you want. Then uh, we're going to respond to you as soon as we can. Alright, thanks. See you on the next video.